destiny, good morning student, good morning to your destiny. Now, like I've been showing you about the building. So this is the camp. This is the camp assembly. And this is the camp shot. And this is the gear. This cam is driven by the engine like this. So as it is moving, you can see the follower here from this place. You can see the follower is also moving. So when you are told to draw the cam profile, you're simply going to draw how the, how the cam is rotating the follower like this. Because the follower has to be on this part. So when it is like this, the follower is lifted up. When it is like this, the, the follower is on dwell. When it is like this, the follower is still on dwell. When it is like this, the follower now has a return stroke. So we have the out stroke on the right, we have the dwell, then we have the return stroke, then we have the dwell, and then we have the out stroke. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will show you more about this. again for another chance God has given us now I want to I want to show you now how to draw a cam profile uh, with a roller follower and also to draw uh, 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 the displacement diagram of a simple harmonic question with me I have a question a cam with a minimum radius of 25 millimeters rotating clockwise at a uniform speed is to be designed to give a roller follower a roller follower the roller follower diameter is 20 millimeters. So we are told the outstroke or the rise of the valve grew 50, milli 50 millimeters. That is a stroke during 120 degrees rotating at the cam. To keep the valve fully raised through the next 30 degrees, that means the dwell, and to lower the valve during the next 60 degrees. To keep the valve closed during the rest of the revolution, 150 degrees, that means to be the dwell. So Draw the profile of the cam when A, the line of the stroke of the valve rod passes through the, the axis of the camshaft. The displacement of the valve when being raised and lowered, it takes place with simple harmonic motion. First, you must also understand that it is simple harmonic motion. So the displacement diagram will be uh, from um, will be drawn with simple harmonic motion. So solution given that the stroke is 50 millimeters. And also given the, the minimum radius is 25 millimeters, the prime circle will be the minimum radius plus a half diameter of the roller. That is the formula. Minimum radius plus a half diameter of the roller. Uh, that will give us, that gives us 35 millimeters of the prime circle. Realize with the roller follower, you must have the prime circle. And that way you use the minimum radius of the base circle so that you can come up with the prime circle. So our next point now will be to draw now from this point now i want to show you now how to draw the displacement diagram because i told you before without the displacement diagram you cannot draw the cam profile so after you've done that you identify the stroke what is the stroke the stroke is 50 millimeters so from this point again here draw uh, uh, five five centimeter uh, vertical line like that after you've drawn a five centimeter vertical line like that, again now you identify now a scale. What are we being given as a scale? The scale is 30 degrees is equals to 18 centimeters. So we again now draw uh, 18 centimeters vertically because we have converted the 360 degrees into centimeters and now we will have uh, uh, 18 centimeters like that. Again, at this particular juncture and this particular point, again, you now construct uh, uh, another six, say, uh, I mean, five centimeters like that. Stroke uh, should be like that. Then again, standing on this particular point, again, like this, you draw your construction like that. Now that becomes very much good and uh, very much nice, as you can see. We have been able to establish those points. So the next thing you draw a semicircle using the 
the the using the radius this radius using using the stroke this stroke this this stroke this 50 50 milli, 50 millimeters of or or 5 centimeters this stroke this is what we call stroke using this stroke uh, which is those 50 millimeters now take half of it draw a semicircle using it as the diameter the half of it will be 2.5 so on your ruler again stand here measure 2.5 that will be our 2.5 at that particular point so again from this part here you can now draw your you can now draw your semi circle from that point to this point like that sorry sorry let me wrap this so we have that semi circle like that the next point is that we will have to divide we'll have to divide this into six equal parts we'll divide this semicircle into six equal parts i will show you how to divide this into six equal parts it is very simple with the same radius with the same radius 2.5 stand on this point then mark along mark at that point stand on the next point here again mark like that you see then again stand on this point here mark there again stand here mark down here, like that after you've drawn like that and you've achieved that again now again now stand at this particular juncture here like this draw line stand here again draw a line stand here again like this draw one beautiful line like that again stand here like this at this particular point and juncture again draw a line like that so you name your points this will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have been able to achieve six beautiful points then from this uh, particular juncture again what you do you again now uh, uh, go back to details given to you what have you been given you've been told that the rise of the valve through 50 mm, it is 120. So we have a rise of 120 degrees. Using your scale, that 360 degrees is equal to 18 centimeters. What about 120 degrees? So you say 120 times 18, like that. Uh -huh. Then divided by 360. Our answer is 6 centimeters. So again, pick your ruler from this particular point and this particular point in time again. Put your ruler like that. Measure 6 centimeter this should be the measurement of the of the of the rise like that then from this point again on top here again do the same thing six centimeters again at this point so from this point two particular junctures of these particular points we've been able to achieve uh, that point then after you have achieved that point and i've achieved that point more more much more importantly that is a very important point Go back to the next uh, requirement given to you. You'll be told to keep the valve fully raised. So there is a dwell of 30 degrees. That is a dwell. So 30 degrees, you again take your ruler and say 360 degrees is equal to 18 centimeters. What about now 30 degrees? That is the same as saying 30 times 18. Again, divided by 360. Our answer will be 1.5. Put your ruler at this particular point. Again, at this point here. 1.5 again at this particular point again at this juncture again 1.5 so yeah we have been able to achieve all this as 1.5 now draw a straight line like that after you have done that that is now very good now look for the other other requirement given to you on top here you have been told that the, the lower of the valve to lower the valve so it means to fall the return stroke of the valve during the next 60 degrees the next 60 degrees so again we want to draw the return stroke so you say 360 i mean you say 60 degrees times 18 centimeters again divided by 360 degrees to make it into centimeters it will be three centimeters so again standing on this particular point here like that measure three centimeters at this particular 
the centimeter and also from this particular point again this is about three centimeters so here you now draw a straight line like this like that then you are told the rest it is 12 keep the valve closed during the rest revolution of 150 so from here to here it is 150 so you can now label your work like this this is the out stroke this is the dual then this is the return stroke then this is the rest of it we've been told that it, it is the dual so from this particular point again you label your work much more importantly well like this So your work looks like this. After you've been able to interpret that, now you can see very well that there's nothing difficult in these things. So this is the outstroke, which resembles the rise, and it is 120 degrees. This is the dwell, which resembles 30 degrees. This is the dwell. Then this is 60 degrees, which returns the return stroke. Then this will resemble again the 150 degrees. This resembles the dwell of the calm. So having done that, the next thing is that we want now to divide the outstrokes into six equal parts according to the way we have done it here and you want also to divide the return stroke i told you you don't divide the dwell you do not divide the dwell any uh, uh, into any equal parts you only divide the outstroke and the return stroke and draw vertical lines so our outstroke you measure it very well our outstroke was it was six centimeters dividing six into six equal parts will be one centimeters apart at the intervals of one one centimeter so you do that and after you have done that you now draw straight lines like these vertical lines like that stand here again draw vertical lines like that draw vertical lines like that draw vertical lines like that again stand here and draw vertical lines like that Again, divide the return stroke into equal numbers. What was a return stroke? Return stroke was three centimeters because when you measure it like this, you divide it into six equal parts. So three divided by six, it will be 0 0.5. As you can see, it is 0 0.5. So you have to divide this into six equal parts. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, the intervals of six of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, like that. Then you put your ruler at this particular juncture like this then draw your straight lines like that you see it's not difficult you only need to 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 work together and you will see so after you have done that now project your lines across project these points that you got on your semi circle like this again across now like that That. Having done that, now name your work. This is zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, zero prime, one prime, two prime, three prime, four prime, five prime, six prime. So having done that, now our next move it is to now to draw the curve. We want to draw the curve from this point. So you start from this point, this zero, where zero and zero intersect, it will be at that point. Where one and one intersect, this line one and this one line again intersects, you draw a point at this point like that. When where two and two intersects from this point again, you draw a mark like that. Where three and three intersect at this particular point again, you draw a mark. Where four and four intersect at this point again, draw a mark. Where line five and line five on this point again intersects, draw a mark. Where in line 6 and line 6 on this point intersects, draw a mark, and here, draw a mark like that. 
So again on our return stroke, we do not start from this point. Neither do we start from this point. We start from this point. Remember, it is falling. The rising was like this. So now it is the falling like this, the return stroke of the camp. So we'll start from this particular point. So where the five, the number five prime and the one prime intersect here at this point, you mark. Where the number four and the number two prime, where they intersect at this point, again you draw the point. Where the number three point and the number three prime, where they intersect at this point, you make a mark. Where the two and the number four prime, where they intersect at this point, you draw a mark. Where number one and number five prime intersect, again you draw a mark. Where zero and six prime intersect, you draw a mark. What is the next move? The next move now, it is to draw like this. So, this now becomes something like that. So, we have been able to establish the calm rotation. Now, in the next video, I want the calm displacement diagram. In the next video, I want to show you now how to draw the calm profile. Like I say, you cannot draw the calm profile without the calm displacement diagram or the simple harmonic displacement diagram. For you to draw the calm that which we are given as the roller follower, you are supposed to draw using the specification of the roller follower. You will have to use this information given now. Please subscribe, watch the next video. God bless you.